powdered greens supplements. These are supplements that I've been getting a lot of questions about from clients. I've seen them advertised all over my social media on podcasts, blogs, you name it. Typically the advertisements that I've seen at least involve a very attractive, very fit person sipping on this green drink as they just like rocket through the most productive day I've ever seen in my life. I'm a dietitian, so usually I know better, but I've caught myself a couple times wondering if I should maybe add some of these powdered greens to my routine. The truth is I probably don't need to. There's not a ton of science behind these supplements. There's a couple small studies that suggest it might improve uh, markers of gut health, markers of cardiovascular health, but the more sensational claims around you know, immunity, skin health, things like that are really best met with skepticism. Powdered green supplements are probably not going to be a good replacement for whole fruits and vegetables. Whole fruits and vegetables contain an array of micronutrients, antioxidants, and these all interact with one another in a synergistic fashion to produce health outcomes over time. So if you are considering a green supplement, I really would think of it more like a multivitamin. You know, it's probably not a bad idea if your diet tends towards the less balanced end of the spectrum, but uh, I certainly wouldn't consider it a necessity.